presented the Pizza Parlor Pricer project and gave you some tips on how to code it. And so just a quick overview here, we have the three radio buttons that are mutually exclusive because each of these area behind that in the orange is a label and not a panel or a group box. We have a bunch of labels here with all the prices and then check boxes for each of the additional toppings for the pizza. So these are the pricings corresponding to the size of the pizza. Obviously it's gonna take more extra cheese for large than it will for small. Then we have four buttons to simply change the checks of the various check boxes as far as the toppings for those preset pizzas. The radio buttons and the check boxes are all in the same handler. There's a label down here to show the price that's generated from that. And then you have code for the four buttons. So I'm just gonna click this radio button for the 10 inch and we'll look at our code. We have a procedure here called update price, except object sender and event args E. And if we were to look at the properties for that radio button and look at the events, you'll see the check changed is update price. Same thing here on the other two radio buttons. And then the check boxes also have a check changed event procedure using update price. So all of these check boxes are gonna run that, that one event handler. We're gonna create a variable called price. That's a double value, I'm set to zero, zero. And then I have an if structure here, if rb.10 is checked. And then inside that are some things we wanna do if we're looking at a small pizza. Then I have an else if, if rb14 is checked, some things we wanna do, and an else if rb18 is checked, and an else, which simply says, please select the size with a cap, with a title of size, question mark. Let's take a look at each of these if forks. So here's my RB10, if it's the small size, we're gonna set the base price to 525. That's a, that's a cheese 10 inch pizza. But then if they've added extra cheese, we're gonna add $1.10 to that price. If they're adding pepperoni, $1.75. If they're adding sausage, $1.85. Notice these are sequential. We want each one of these if structures to execute. If we do an if else, then as soon as one of these is true, everything else would never be, val would never be checked. We want to make sure that we can add multiple toppings to our pizza. Now I did these simply as if structures, and then I switched here to the ternary. And it's basically the same thing. So I have price plus equals, and then my if is CBX Canadian bacon dot checked, a question mark. Here's my true value. I'm going to add two. Notice this is the plus equals. I'm going to add two to the price. Otherwise, I'm going to add nothing to the price. And then do the same thing for the pineapple checkbox, the mushroom checkbox, the bell peppers, the onions, and the olives. For the RB14, radio button 14, the 14 inch pizza, I'm gonna set the price to 975 and then add additional charges to that base price based on what is selected. And here I did it as all ternaries. Really nice clean looking code compared to having a whole bunch of if structures here that each one takes four lines of code really kind of compresses it, makes it more readable. And then here's the RB18 for the 18 inch. If it's checked, we're gonna set the base price to 1450 and then add the prices for the toppings accordingly. At the end of all that, we want to put into our LBL price label at the bottom, setting the text property to price colon space and the prices generated dot two string. And I'm gonna convert that to currency with two decimals. Each of the buttons then for the Supreme the pepperoni and mushroom and the Hawaiian and vegetarian, all they do is they're setting the checked values of those different check boxes to true or false, depending on what should be on that pizza. So for the, the Supreme pizza, we want to have pepperoni, sausage, mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, and olives. Those are set to true. The others are set to false. As this code is setting those check boxes to true or false, it is causing our code here to run because we're causing a check changed event for each of those that's calling the update price. So all I need to do is just change those check values and we're gonna get the price at the end. Same thing here for the pepperoni. We're setting the pepperoni and mushrooms to true and everything else to false. We're setting the Hawaiian to the pineapple and Canadian bacon being true and the vegetarian, the last four options of mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, and olives being true. It doesn't matter what size it is, we're not changing the size, so we can use whatever size we currently have selected. And that is the Pizza Parlor Pricer. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the C-Sharp Xamarin Programming Cohort playlist 
by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.